Welcome to Charm Health, your medical records management and practice management application on the cloud. This video tutorial explains how to send orders and receive orders electronically through LabCorp and Charm Health. In this video, we are going to cover topics on creating and transmitting lab orders to LabCorp from an encounter, creating and transmitting lab orders without creating an encounter, creating and receiving electronic results from LabCorp, creating and transmitting lab orders from an encounter. In this section, we are going to create lab orders from a chart note on a patient's visit and then transmit them electronically to LabCorp. First, search for a patient and create an encounter. In the Diagnosis section, add a diagnosis. And in the Recommendation section, select the Order Labs tab. To add labs, select the Search and Add option. Choose LabCorp from the drop-down menu. Since the interface is enabled with LabCorp, the complete test will show up in your account. Type out the test code or the first few characters of the test name you were looking for. Matching tests will be listed in the auto-suggestion drop down. Selecting the test will add it to the chart note. If the selected test has add order entry or AOE questions, fill in the answers and add the test to the chart note. Edit AOE option can also be used to edit the fields in AOE details. Multiple tests can be searched and added to the lab order. Map DX codes. Once you have ordered the lab tests, you have to map the patient's active diagnosis to lab orders using the Map DX option. The Map, map All DX checkbox can be used to map all the active diagnosis of the patient to all the tests. Diagnosis can also be mapped on a test specific level. Transmit lab order. To electronically transmit the chart note, add all the tests and use the transmit function. In transmit view, lab orders added to the chart note will be listed. The Send Order Electronically option will display the lab order summary view. Here you can verify the details of the lab order. Guarantor details are at the top of the page and can be edited if needed. If the guarantor details are configured in the Patient Demographics section, it will automatically be pulled here. If you have an in-house laboratory and are collecting specimens for this lab order, please fill out the specimen collection date and time. You could view AOE information below and can make any necessary edits here. Labs can be built in three ways such as client, patient, and third party. You could select the option based on the individual who pays the lab fee. If the bill is client, practices take responsibility to pay the lab fee. If the bill type is patient, the lab fee will be paid by the patient directly to the laboratory. If you select the third party billing, then the lab fee will be paid by the insurance company. 
Insurance details are pulled from the patient demographics section, patient details, and the insurance section. Primary insurance details are mandatory for third-party billing. Click the Place Order to LIS or Place Order to PSC to transmit the lab orders electronically to the lab. Please note, lab orders can be electronically sent to the Patient Service Center, PSC, or Lab Information System, LIS, based on your requirement. If you are not collecting the specimens in-house, you could place the order to PSC. In this case, you could choose the bill type as patient. When a patient visits PSC, LabCorp will collect the insurance details directly from the patient. If you have an in-house lab specimen collection and transmission, you will have to enter insurance card details for the third party billing type. The lab could claim the amount directly from the insurance company slash payer. Once it has been electronically ordered, click Transmit to view the status of the lab order transmission. This opens the Order Details view. Electronically sent information can be seen here and you could print the lab order using the print option. Lab order contains complete details of test orders, AOE, diagnosis details, billing details, and lab core specific barcodes. Creating and transmitting lab orders section without creating an encounter. Lab orders can be added without an encounter from the lab order section using the plus lab order section. Search for the required patient and then select the search and add option to find your lab and tests you are looking for. Enter the AOE details if required. Map the DX to the corresponding tests and save the order. Click the Send Order Electronically action item. This will open the Order Summary page. Enter the specimen collection date and time. Select the build type based on the client and then place the lab order. Once the order has been placed, the order status will be displayed under the lab order section. The export to PDF option is used to download the lab orders. The lab order copy contains complete details of the tests ordered, AOE, diagnosis details, billing details, and lab core specific barcodes. Check ABN status. The check ABN status function assesses the advanced beneficiary notice information for the tests, if it is accessible. An ABN is a written notice that a Medicare patient may receive from a physician, provider, or supplier, or when there is a reason to believe that Medicare will not likely pay for an item or service. The ABN assists a Medicare patient in making an informed choice about whether or not to receive the services knowing he or she may be responsible for the payment. At you, draw details option is used to know how the specimen needs to be collected. A LabCorp at you draw 
service provides the client with an on-screen visual cues along with specimen collection instructions to help ensure accuracy and precision. Lab results section. In this section, we are going to see the results being electronically received from LabCorp and review the workflow. Once a lab completes a test, the test will be pushed electronically to Charm Health. The received results will be available in Labs, Lab Result, as well as the Patients dashboard in the Lab Records section. Received lab results are in, un in the unsteined status. And reviewers can review the results using the review action item. Result details received from LabCorp will be displayed in the review section. If the review result contains the fasting details, then it could be viewed by clicking the show more option. After review, the report can be signed using the sign button. If the patient already has a Charm Health PHR account, you could share the results with them by clicking the share record with patient. You could also send an internal message to the patient if required. You could easily locate all signed results by utilizing the signed results filter. The lab report can be downloaded using the export as PDF option. Manually mapping a patient to a result. Unsolicited results may be received with incorrect patient details. Such results cannot be mapped to the patient automatically. They are listed in the lab results section with an unknown patient. The patient can be mapped to this result using the Map Patient option. The Map Patient view displays the patient information received in the result message, as well as the patient details in your account that match the date of birth and gender of the received patient details. If the probable patients list does not have an appropriate patient, Use the Search by Patient Name or Record ID field to pull the matching results by name slash record ID criteria. Map the appropriate patient to the result. Results can be reviewed after assigning an appropriate patient. Thank you for watching this video. For any help, write an email to support at charmhealth.com. Follow us on social media for the latest updates.